Genital warts are a dermatologic manifestation of a sexually transmitted infection caused by the epidermotropic human papilloma virus. Risk factors for getting genital warts include having multiple sex partners, smoking, use of oral contraceptive pills, and sexual intercourse at a very young age. Human papilloma virus is a double-stranded DNA virus, which has more than 100 different types. Out of these, about 35 types have the affinity to genital sites. There are two categories of genital HPV exist. The low-risk benign type and the high-risk neoplastic type. Low-risk types 6 and 11 are responsible for most genital warts, accounting for more than 90% of cases. Warts caused by these strains are least likely to be transformed into malignancy. Frequently affected sites include penis, vulva and the vagina, uterine cervix, perineum, and perianal region. Occasionally, a rophrynx, larynx, and trachea can be affected due to oral sex. The disease is primarily transmitted via sexual intercourse. However, less frequently, it can be transmitted by direct contact and indirect contact through fomites. They appear as multiple painless bumps, often associated with pruritus and discharge. In most cases, more than one area is involved. In addition, there may be features of other coexistent sexually transmitted infections. Rarely, urethral bleeding may occur due to obstruction of the urethral metis. Perianal lesions may be seen in individuals who have anal sex. Complications of genital warts include local disfigurement, transformation into genitourinary malignancies, transmission to the child during delivery, and recurrence. If left untreated, three things can happen. They may resolve spontaneously, or progress into larger lesions with an increase in their number, or remain unchanged. Major treatment options include the following. Cryotherapy, where liquid nitrogen is sprayed to ablate the lesions. Electrodesiccation and curatage. Surgical excision of the lesions, which has the highest success rate and lowest recurrence rate. Carbon dioxide laser treatment, which requires local, regional, or general anesthesia. And infrared coagulation, which causes tissue coagulation and necrosis. Medical therapy includes acid applications, interferon injections, and medications for house use, including imiquimod cream, pedophilox gel or solution, and anti-proliferative agents such as 5-fluorouracil.